and everybody would at least kind of remember how to at least get this started. And what we talked about, when we want to solve an equation with fractions, the easiest thing is nobody likes dealing with fractions, right? So the best thing to do with the fractions is to get rid of the fractions, OK? So everybody agree with that. Let's get rid of the fractions. So to get rid of the fractions, what we can do is we wanted to multiply every single term by the LCD. And I'll explain again why that works. So remember, the least common denominator is the smallest number that all of your denominators divide into. So between 12, 6, and 3, what is the smallest number that they all divide into? Not that divides into them. What does 3, 6, and 12 divide into? 12, right? So we can say the LCD, bless you, equals 12. Does that make sense? OK. Bless you. Now, please remember, 3 divides into 12, 6 divides into 12, and 12 divides into 12. Does everybody agree with me on that? Yeah. Right? OK. So I'm going to multiply every single term by my LCD. You multiply every single term. Every terms are separated by addition and subtraction. Now, we said 3 divides into 12, right? How many times does 3 divide into 12? 4. four. So I can simplify this down to 4. 12, 6 divides into 12, how many times? 2. two. So I can simplify this to 2. And 12 divides into 12, how many times? 1. So now, if you guys see, what I did is now I have eliminated every single denominator. OK? Yes, Ian? Can you wait till I'm done going over the problem that you should be writing down? And then go? Will that work? OK. So now I have to multiply 4 times 7x, which is 28x. 2 times 5, which is 10, equals 1. Does, now, does this look like something that's a little bit easier now to solve? Yeah, now we just got to solve for x. So we just undo subtracting um, 10. So we add 10 on both sides. And we have 28x equals 11. Now divide by 28, divide by 28, and x equals 11 over 28. OK? So what I want you guys to